Asante sana wenye muko popote duniani tunawashukuru kwa kuangalia YouTube yetu na leo tuko sehemu moja ambayo inaitwa hawa watatuambia hapa ni wapi Moses hapa tunaitwa Charangani ya Voice Charangani makutano na ni hapa ni Mtemua Mtemua hapa ni wapi ndugu bila amesema eh uangalie huko kamera ndi semua ni semua Asante for those who are watching us from far and wide we are somewhere in East Africa Kenya a place we call the county of Franzoia, specifically Cherengani. We are doing a demonstration on uh, the products by from FHB and inoculant fertilizer. We have been showing you for about three years now. We want to welcome you today. We, we want to welcome you today so that you see the process of inoculation. These ladies and gentlemen are here to witness the beginning of uh, inoculation, a field that has been prepared. You can see behind me. This is quite a, a very interesting area. The gradient is good. We want to observe specifically this field, what will happen. Agronomical factors related to this field are quite considered. We are going to start with uh, a situation where water will be, uh, uh, you know, will be what we do, irrigated to the field because there's no water for now. It's good to capture that so that those who will be seeing the field, you don't start questioning why the, probably the crop will be performing the way it is, but we expect a lot of, uh, uh, you know, work coming from the owner or the host or the one who is heading the team. The name is Moses, and we will be updating you how the crop will be doing. So today, you, you, you are really welcome to this, uh, you know, process of inoculation. Yani tunasema kuchanganya kwa mbolea ambayo tunaita mbolea mfukoni. Wa Tanzania pia, Takao angalia hii mjue ya kwamba Kenya, tunaendelea vile munaendelea kule, mulisema ma, e, mbolea hii nafanya kazi nzuri, basi mkiitaka, munatuma uh, maumbienyu, alafu tunawatumia mbolea hii, munaituma, uh, munatuma hela, vile tutakavyo waeleza ili muweza kutumia kule Tanzania. Wale ambao munatumia kule sehemu ya, ya, ya mkoba, tayari tunawashukuru kazi ambao munafanya, wale munawatumia mbolea hii kule Uganda, the Ugandan brothers and sisters, we appreciate in Ghana, those of you who are preparing to wait for to get our fertilizer next season, we welcome you. Start uh, participating by watching our video. This is the process called inoculation. Asante, water to answer. The water would be about uh, 250 ml. That's a quarter of that. Then uh, you have to test your spray if it's working. The testing is important. No, I quit dog. You're lost my way. I'm a equal And it's a good experience for Sababu. This is what happens when you are in the farm doing that. We will struggle using it the way it is. So, what we will do is a since we are only planting a part of this field, then we'll take a half of the fertilizer. This is four grams, which should have been enough for an acre. So we'll assume we are talking about a half of that. Just for the sake of applying, it is not wrong to give uh, more than expected. It's not an overdose because this is a microbe. So we'll take a half of this and put into this. Okay. Open the surge like that. Okay. So of the four grams, they still that that has remained. Yeah. Keep that. Thank you. Yeah, tonight I'm bolea mfukoni. Then you just do this. Unatengeneza juice juice ya kuingia kwenye mahindi sio juice ya kukunywa hiyo juice unaitengeneza namna hiyo hiyo ni step number 1 step number 2 mahindi ambayo tunataka kupanda ikiwa Moses mahindi ni ya 
Savo Seed uh, WE4141, high yielding, medium altitude. Ni 2 kgs. Uh, hiyo ndiyo uh, size ya maindi ambayo tunataka kufanya process kwa kimombo tunaita inoculation. Sasa tutachukua haya maindi vizuri, tuyaweke kwenye hiyo becheni. Maindi hmm. yote ndiyo hayo. Haya, nataka mama ama mtu mmoja atakusaidia kufanya kazi ya kuchanganya hapa. Eh, the most uh, wewe ndio utafanya hiyo kazi. Ndio hapa. Ndio pande hii. Utafute kitu yaweke mkono. Hii vitu vinakuwa dangerous. These are chemicals. Ona, 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 tuko kwenye, tuko kwenye video. Yes. Tuko kwenye video. Yeah. Kasasi unaweza tafuta. Tafuta na. Wamesema they have said we get uh, something to wear. Yes. This the hands in case of this. Uh, so that uh, we don't have any issue. So it's important yeah. to wear gloves if exactly. possible or get something to cover your hands while you are doing the inoculation. Yes. Yeah, so how long will that? Most of I know it's just yeah. right. so, so, spraying me heavy. Your process we are inoculation. And the leg fanya hivo. Yes, we are waiting for the gloves. It's important when you are doing this process, you make sure that your hands are protected so that you don't pick any contamination coming from the coating of the seat. But kama maindi yale yangekuwa hayana ile dawa, but you ungeweza kuchanganya kutumia mkono wako. Moses we on video. So, ningependa tuelewana ya kwamba ni vyema tufanye hii kazi tukiangazia mambo ya afya na mambo ya precautions. So, it's important that you wear your gloves ili aweze haya njoo basi tuendelee tafadhali. This is what you do. That is the process of inoculation that you are seeing happening there. Uh, after we are done with that process, we will allow the seed to absorb the entire microbe mix under the condition of a shed. Kwa sababu, ikiwa kwenye jua, itaharibu ile biologia. So, ni vizuri baada ya hii, itaona kutaianika chini ya kibuli, iweze kukauka pole pole, itimanita kukauka, basi itakuwa tayari kuingia shambani, ifanya kazi. Hiyo ndio tunaita mbolea mfukoni. Mbolea ambao unatembea tuna ayo kwenye mfuko, haitaji malori, haitaji tractor. So, ile saving ambayo ungeweza kuitumia kwa mambo ya transport, utaweza kuiweka ili iweze kutumika katika management of the crop. Unaweza kuwa kuna pesa ambayo ameingia pale, hiyo pesa ambayo umesave, itaweza kukusaidia kutijana na yale magonjwa ambayo atapatana pale shambani. Kuna mambo ambayo ni ya muhimu sana, ningependa pia kusema ya nao usikana na mbolea hii. Mambo ya rutuba ya shambani. Rutuba ya shambani itakuwa ni jambo la muhimu sana kwa mkulima kuweza kurejeza ile hali ya uh, fertility ya shamba kwa sababu mbolea hii itasaidia kutoa chembe chembe za mbolea ambazo zimekuwa hapo hapo awali ambazo pengine zingeweza kuwa sumu iweze kuingia kwa vyakula zile na iweze ku yale uh, yanayohusiana na vyakula vya yule mkulima kwa hivyo ni vyema ujue ya kwamba bioprop FHB mbolea mfukoni itakusaidia kukupea mazao mazuri na pia ita improve ama itakusaidia kuweka afya kwenye mchanga wako hilo ndio jambo pia ambalo nitakana kuangalia wale ambao wataangalia uelewa ya kwamba sio production peke yake pia ikiwezekana baada ya uweze kuangalia ule mchanga utaona inaanza kupa picha tofauti sana na vile ilikuwa ukiendelea kutumia mbolea hiyo miaka zijazo utagundua ya kwamba shamba itahitaji mbolea kidogo 
kidogo sana ndio iweze kukupa mazao. Hiyo ndio uh, sehemu nyingine ambayo ni muhimu sana na hii mbolea. Kwa hivyo biological fertilizer has a lot of advantage to your field. It will help you so much to regenerate your land. And we are also working very keenly to see how we will start attracting what we call carbon credits. The farmers who are going to use this uh, this fertilizer they will be eligible to get carbon credits. Kando na ile mazao ambao unapata tutaanza kuwa pea nafasi ya kupigania mambo ya credit ile inaitwa carbon credit kwa sababu hii itakuwa ni carbon sink field ile carbon dioxide inatoka juu itatumika hapa chini na itakuwa imeleta purification kwa hewa kwa hivyo wakulima watakao kuwa wanaendelea kutumia hii tukiwa na namba nzuri ambayo sasa tunajua acreage ni hivi tutaanza kuuliza carbon credits ili mkulima unauza mahindi yako na pia unapewa pesa kutoka kwa carbon credit ambayo unapata. Hiyo ndio umuhimu ya hiyo mbolea ambayo inatakana. Umalize kabisa endelea endelea huko. Eh, mnaona vile anaendelea kabisa mkulima atafanya hivi na inakuwa ni rahisi sana yeye kuanza kuwa na mazao mazuri na pia aweze kurudisha afya kwa mchanga wake. Asante sana. Thank you so much. From this process itakuwa ni kukausha na kukausha hiyo itakuwa chini ya kivuli. Ndio iweze kuenda vile wana sayansi wa biolojia wanatuambia asanti sana thank you so much for viewing our, our video today this was a demonstration somewhere in Transoya a place called Cherengani in Okunation inaitwa nini mo Cherengani makutano this is where people meet eh yani wanakutana asanti sana thank you so much for viewing our video bye from here ancient bye